Hey and welcome to this video and this is called Affiliate Marketing 101. Now I know there's plenty of training out there, there's so many products, there's so many videos, articles, um, all kinds of things you can look up on affiliate marketing. I'm just going to give you a very basic version uh, of how I see it and uh, the best part is I'm going to show you how to make money by selling products you don't even own. So let's go. Okay so first of all what kind of products are we going to be talking about? In this case we're going to be talking mostly about internet marketing related products also what we consider make money from home products okay these include training uh, softwares you know tutorials uh, any anything that has to do with helping you make money online uh, this, these are the kind of products we're going to be offering these are some of the easiest products to sell these days because with every single person that I know would love an opportunity to make extra money so you put these products in front of their faces and there's a good chance that some of them will buy Okay, most of these products pay out at least a 50% commission. In some cases, they pay even 75% or even up to 100%. Now, you're probably asking why they pay 100%. Well, the product owner knows what they're doing and they have their reasons for paying 100%. So, we'll talk about that in other videos. But in some of the websites you're going to be using to uh, find these products, one of my favorite is jbzoo.com. All right, there's new products being released every single day. There's always something to sell. And most of the work is already done for you. All you need to do is get people in front of the uh, the sales pages, okay? Clinkbank.com also is one of my favorites. Same thing. There's plenty of products to sell, and they're also uh, they go outside of the make money niche. They also have you know health, diet. They have uh, you know forex products. They have dating products. They have products in every single niche. So if you're looking to expand past the make money from make money from home niche, then I would definitely check out clickbank.com. They have all kinds of stuff on there. Or if you're part of a uh, business opportunity, then any decent biz op, um, this will work as well. Just the same. It's considered an affiliate product as well. Now, this is the beginner section. I'm going to go over how to make sales as a beginner. This is basically a fast way to get started. Okay, if you don't have any technical skills, you don't have uh, any advertising budget, or maybe you just don't have time to put all that stuff together, which I understand some people are in a you know crunch position. It's cool. There are ways that you can actually uh, make money right away. You can get up and going with some easy to follow steps. So I'm going to talk about that now. So we're going to talk over. We're going to talk about some tra traffic methods that I personally use in my business that helped me get started when I didn't have uh, money and I didn't have any time to waste and things like that. I for about a good year or so, I actually use these very methods that I'm going to share with you on the next few slides. So use the following tra traffic methods to drive people to the offer. Basically, use all traffic methods possible to get as many eyeballs as you can to see what it is you're offering. Whether whatever product it is or whatever business it is, you just need eyeballs to go see it. Uh, you would want to send traffic. I highly recommend you send traffic to a capture page. Or you can send it straight to the sales page that the product owner or the company provides but essentially what we want to really do is capture leads okay we're going to talk about that in future trainings but like I said if you're really in a crunch position and you have to like make money like today or you know you're going to find your place in the street um, I mean you're going to find yourself living in the street then use these methods that I'm telling you but in some cases when it comes to business opportunities the uh, products the, the companies themselves do offer uh, marketing solutions they offer capture pages and things like that so I highly recommend you take a few moments to set that up correctly so that way you're not wasting your time um, also utilize webinars specifically for higher ticket products products that have uh, higher ticket price anything above a hundred usually above 500 or more you would want to use webinars that are probably about an hour to 90 minutes long to really go thoroughly through the product the service and things like that to sell on a higher price point um, these work really well for that reason and for the most part the webinars are structured in a way to make those sales for you so if you're if the product or the company is offering a webinar that you can just plug in I would definitely use it because they obviously had tested and used it as webinar to make sales in the past um, also leverage out everyone's results I understand that you may be new if you're watching this you may be new you might not have any results yet and that's okay because I was there too I was I was at a starting point I didn't have any results I didn't have anything to share the only thing I shared was my story and um, I had to utilize other people's success to get attention of you know of the people that I was trying to sell to so it's okay to do that in the beginning 
until you get your own results to share. So these are some of the traffic methods that I personally have used in my business. Like I said, when I didn't have an advertising budget and I didn't have a lot of time either, and they worked very well. And I've actually earned over six figures and multiple six figures using these methods. So they do work. And if you apply them and apply them today, you will find yourself making money uh, sooner than later. So uh, considering th that most of the material is already provided by either the product itself or the, the company that you're in, you can utilize these methods, meaning you don't have to go out your way to create your own sales funnels and videos and things like that. Again, these are beginner methods if you want to get into the intermediate and advanced methods we're going to talk about that in other videos but i really just want to get you guys up and going so you could start making money today so here are the traffic methods okay facebook post uh use your personal and your fan page it doesn't matter don't worry about your friends and family don't worry about people that are your friends or your family are going to call it a scam it's okay i don't promote to my friends and family for that reason because that's how they always feel they see you as someone that this is not you you know you should be working or something like that and that's okay it's not for them and that's fine what you want to do is attract the people who this is for so don't worry about them and people are going to call this a scam people are going to call us all kinds of things but that's okay that's because they, they just don't understand the process so don't worry about uh promoting on your post don't worry about what people are gonna think worry about the people who are interested in what you have to offer so i highly recommend you make facebook posts daily if you have a fan page post on your fan page as well i do this to the even till today i'm still posting on my facebook both my personal fan page every single day, something about a business or something of some sort. You want to connect and message at least 10 to 20 people a day, okay? It's very, very powerful to make these connections with people. Now, in some cases, they won't, they don't want to be bothered, um, and that's okay. Or they're not ready to take a look at what you have to offer, and that's okay as well. What I would do is keep track of the people you talk to. You know, take their profiles, put them on a text pad, and just... Remind yourself to follow up with them every other day uh, and see if they're interested then. Because I could tell you one thing for the people who have done that to me. For the very first time, I, sometimes I don't pay attention. I don't open my message. Or I don't bother. But after like five or six messages from the same person, you know, uh, throughout the days or weeks, I finally give in. In some cases, I actually either buy, join, or take a look at what they're offering because the persistency really pays off. So... Connect with 10 to 20 people a day. If they don't buy it the first time, it's okay. Most people won't. Just keep track of who you spoke to. Like I said, put their pro grab the profile links, uh, put them in a text pad, and just keep a, a, like a log of who you spoke to and when you should follow up with them. I guarantee you that across the board, you would make sales. Okay? Not everybody's going to buy, but you will make sales if you are consistent and persistent. Don't be too salesy, too pushy. Just be more of an information giver, and you're looking to solve their problem. Um, okay, you want to if you're if you have a fan page, you want to post on your fan page, and you want to boost it for at least five to ten bucks. Okay, we can go over that in other modules. If you don't, if you're not ready to spend money or you don't have this setup, that's fine. Um, just skip along to the other stuff and just do the do everything else I'm explaining first. Uh, utilize Facebook events. You can create an event, and you can market your product, or service, or your business, and you can have people show up and take a look at what you're offering. If you're Doing an event on a webinar, then you can, you know, set it for a time, a specific time where you want everybody to watch it. You could put the webinar link, regardless whether it's uh, live or pre-recorded, and just have people show up and let the webinar do all the selling for you. Uh, Facebook group hosting, guys. I've done this for <laughs> a couple of years in the past. Like I said, when I didn't have any money, I didn't have any real knowledge of paid traffic or anything like that. These are the things I was doing, and it really got me to the top. It got me to a position where I was able to reinvest in my business and do the things I'm doing now, which is utilizing paid traffic and leverage my time for money. So, um, Facebook group hosting. There are many auto posters out there. If you need one, just send me a message. I recommend the one that worked best for me. And join as many groups as you can and let the auto poster just post to them. Now, you're probably thinking, well, everybody does that. It's all kinds of posts and all spammy stuff. It's okay. There is, a, there is a chance that someone will take a look at what you have to offer. And for the effort of just setting it up on an auto poster and letting it do the work for you, it's worth it. Because you can generate about 20 to 30 leads a day just from that. And out of those 20 to 30 leads, it will add up and you will make a sale here and there. So everything adds up and everything leads to at least you making a couple of sales. Now, this is one of my favorites. I've been utilizing video marketing for a while, and it 
a hands-on, it works the best. So if you're not afraid to get on camera, if you're not afraid to use video, then I highly recommend that you use these methods over any other. Facebook video, okay? You can you can uh, do Facebook video. You can post Facebook video from your personal wall and your fan page as well. Also, I didn't put, but you can you can also use Facebook Live, okay? That's a huge one. I've been utilizing that recently, especially when I have uh, when I want people to attend a webinar, when I want people to look at my product or something like that. I use Facebook Live, and I I engage with my audience. That's the difference with live and just using Facebook video. Facebook video has a great reach, and like I said, video outperforms any form of marketing out there, hands down. But when you put that together with Facebook Live and you have people that are watching you live, you get to interact with them, answer their questions, take away their doubts and fears, and you're more likely to make a sale uh, on your product, service, or business. Um, YouTube videos, very huge. I use YouTube videos till today. Uh, people are always searching. The difference between Facebook video and YouTube videos is that Facebook video is more of a social sharing platform. Uh, YouTube videos is more of a search and a how-to platform where people are searching for solutions. They're looking to how to make money online, how to uh, make money with Facebook, or or they do product reviews. You know, they heard about a product. What is this product? And they, they do product name X Y Z review. Product name X Y Z. Is it a scam or something like that? And what you want to try to do is be there when they're searching for those keywords. And one of the ways you can do that is by making YouTube videos um, constantly and trying to rank them. Again, there's so many, there's so much training out there showing you how to do that. Uh, this, this is not what the training is about. I'm just trying to give you some resources to use. But you know what I would say? Just take imperfect action. Make a video. Put it up. And see what happens. If you get 100 views, that's 100 people that saw your video. And there's a good chance that one of those 100 people might actually buy your product or service. So um, moving along. Okay. Instagram. For those who have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, anything like that, etc. Use it all. Use it all. The reason why I put them all together is because my main focus is Facebook and YouTube. The other um, platforms for me personally are secondary. They do work. Some people mo uh, mainly focus on one of those or either all of them, and they get great results. But me personally, I'm just a Facebook guy and a YouTube guy, so that's what I focus on. But Instagram works very well for a lot of people. Uh, so does Twitter and so does chat Snapchat. Again, what you want to do is talk about your product or service. You want to offer a solution to someone, and you want to give them a way out. So you want to talk about it. The more you talk about it and the more places you talk about it, the more chances are that someone is going to listen and want to take action and want to join you or work with you or buy the product or service that you're offering. Um, for a lot of cases, I email products out, and no one even asks me a single question. They just buy. The reason is because the sales system is set up to do the selling for you. All you need to do is get people on board to watch it, and let them sell for you. At the end of the day, you walk away with some commissions, and now you got money in your pocket. Um, back in the day, I used to use Craigslist a lot. I don't do it anymore because it got a little more difficult, and there was like softwares and things like that, and all kinds of different you know, gimmicks and, and gadgets that help you promote uh, market a lot on on Craigslist, help you with the postings. I don't know what works today, but and for me, you know, I'm utilizing what works for me the most, and just focusing my time and efforts on there. Um, especially because I'm doing paid traffic, so I don't use these methods anymore, but they do work if you find some time and you find a way to post on specifically more on Craigslist because it gets more traffic, then do it. Okay, there's plenty of ways to do it. Um, just research a little bit, you can find, but you know, if you go over to the job section and post, you know, about a certain work from home position or something, and you send them to your presentation, hey, there's a there's a good chance that someone might opt in, check it out, and decide to join you. Okay, so it still works. And at the end, you always want to email your list, okay? So, again, if you are a little bit intermediate, advanced, and you have your capture page set up and you know about funnels and stuff like that, then use them. Always put them in front of the product or service and make sure you capture the leads because most people will not join you the first time around, so you will have to email them and, you know, and follow up with them so you can get them to buy eventually, okay? And... Uh, Let's talk about content, okay? What is it that you should be posting about? What is it you should be emailing about? What is it that you should be talking about? I'm taking a sip of water. So here's an easy way, okay, fast way to get content to uh, use to market your product, service, or business. You want to use email swipes you receive. 
very easy. If you're on a bunch of marketing lists and you're getting emails from other affiliates based on a product, service, or like I said, business opportunity, and it seems appealing to you, then just copy it. Copy it, make sure the links, you change out the links, make sure you change a few words around that it, more, it reflects more how you speak, things like that. Make sure you change the name at the bottom. Just copy it, put on a text pad or whatever, change everything that needs to be changed, and just send it out to your list. Okay, I still do that. Why? Because why do I need to make up a whole email, take up you know more time in my day when I find something that works, uh, it, it intrigued me, and I just, all right, this is good. I'll just copy it and use it and change some things around. All right, so you can do that. That's perfectly fine. You can also use those email swipes as posts. Remember, this is this slide is about content. Where you get content from, I'm, I'm sharing it with you right now where to get it from. If those emails are really good, you can actually copy them and use them as a Facebook post for your, your personal wall, your fan page, and everything we talked about in the previous slide. So don't be afraid to use it. Also, you can use an email swipe to as a script, some sort of script to do a video on. If you're not sure what to talk about in your video, read the email script, read the email swipe, and make that your script for the video, okay? So very easy. You know, some of you get strung up on you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to talk to people. Well, with You know, if you follow some of these methods, I'm pretty sure that will change for you, okay? Another thing you can do is study other marketers. Any other big marketers you may be friends of or you know about, study their posts, and swipe their stuff. Obviously, if it's working, if it's getting a lot of engagement, and you see that it's making sales, then it works. You know, you can uh, use it, like reword it a little bit, and, and post it on your own walls and your own timelines and things like that. So that's real huge. Study other marketers and copy what they write because it's, it's either one or two things. Either they're really good at selling, so they make their own copy, or they're making good money, so they pay someone to copy to make a copyright for them. Either way, if it's that good, just copy it yourself. Another thing you want to do is use images of income proof. You want to use images of results of yourself or others. Again, if you don't have any results, it's fine. Share other share other people's results. There's nothing wrong with a little white lie. I'm not saying to come around and tell someone, "Hey, I just made a hundred grand," you know, last month when you didn't make even a thousand. Don't do that. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. But you can say, you know. Uh, these are the kind of, this is the kind of income that's being generated and show some kind of proof because what you're doing is you're showing people income that's being generated, but you're not necessarily saying it's yours. So you're not really lying about it. You're just trying to grab the attention. So there's a, there's a right way and a bad way to do things. I wouldn't, I would never just come out and say that you made X amount of dollars today, yesterday, or in the last hour. If, if you're not even, if you didn't even come close to it, just don't do that. Cause you're going to. You're going to ruin your trust from the people who are were maybe willing to join or buy from you at that point. And if they feel that you're lying from the very beginning, they won't trust you going any forward. So please don't do that. Okay. Use a sales copy from the products themselves or the companies. Again, for that reason that most of them already paid someone a good amount of money to write it for them. So they already got it down packed. They already figured it out. So just copy it. Okay. Just take, go to the product sales pages. Um, just simply hover over the words you want to use. Uh, hit, you know, right click on the mouse, copy and post it on your wall. Change some words around, put your own little twist to it and post it on your wall, put in your email, swipe, whatever you want to use. Just like I said, I'm just trying to make your job easier so you don't have to worry about coming up with all the content yourself or you don't know what to say or what to do. So another thing, like I said, I already mentioned this before, but make a video and use the sales copy as a script. Again, you can use a sales copy from the, the sales pages, the company presentations, or you can just use um, any email swipes you receive as sales copy. Or you can put together your own by just compiling a bunch of results, income proofs, or teammates that had success or whatever the case is. Or it's, if the product has done something for you, you can use that in your video as well, your own video testimonial. Whatever works for you. I would do it all. All right. Like I said, the more the merrier, the more videos, the more posts, the more of everything, the more likely someone will see it, the more traffic you're going to get. More traffic results to more leads. More leads result to more sales. So use it all. Another thing you want to do is use your personal story and and basically talk about how that company, um, how the product, whatever, got you from one point to another. Okay? If you have an honest testimonial to give, use it. If not, use someone else's. Um, that easy. You Also, you want to educate people on the product or service. Some people don't want to be uh, sold. They want to be told. So... If you educate them on the on the product or the company and 
give them more reasons why it benefits them, they might be they might be more likely to open up to you. Um, if you just push it down their you know shove it down their throat and tell them bye 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 and this is what's gonna happen, this is what you're gonna do, you might actually lose people. But if you're more open to listen to them and educate them on why they need it and why they should listen to you and why they should buy from you, then you'll drop the guard and more pe- you most likely will make a sale versus trying to shove it down their throat. And the last thing is uh, share, share, share. Share with everyone. People want to sit there and make money online. They want to do this and that, but they don't tell anyone. They don't share anyone. They're not making posts. They're not making videos. How do you expect to make money if nobody knows what you're offering? Okay, so get out there. Get hungry. Tell everyone. Share with the world through video, through posts, through all kinds of forms of marketing. Tell everyone and anyone about what you're offering and how it can benefit them, how it can change their life the same way it changed yours. If you didn't change your, yours yet, and how it changed the guy next to you, whatever the case is, okay? Share with everyone, okay? You, the more people you get to your website, the more people you get to see the opportunity or the offer you're promoting, the more likely you're going to make sales. And don't worry about the people who don't like it or don't care for it. That's okay. They can go on with their lives. It's not going to hurt you. Just focus on trying to find the people who, who do want your services, who do need what you have to offer, who are willing to join you or or buy from you, things like that, okay? So that's really it as far as, you know, the beginner section. Uh, Stay tuned for the other videos. I'm going to go into the intermediate section, and then we'll go into the advanced section. But right now, this should be enough, more than enough to get you up and going, and you should be able to get results immediately or within at least your first seven days or less, depending on how how hard you work, how much effort you're willing to put in. But these methods work. You don't need any money. You just need time and the willingness to commit and make it happen. Um, If you have any questions, you know how to reach out to me. I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next section.